Good afternoon, experts and uh, distinguished guests. Good afternoon, moderator. Uh, I'm very glad to be here to give this report today. Uh, my title is Minimally Invasive Surgery as a Treatment Option for Gastric Cancer with Liver Metastasis, a comparison with open surgery. Uh, I'm Dr. Xi behalf of, on behalf of Professor Chin. I'm from Chinese PRA General Hospital, Beijing, China. Uh, there is no conflict of interest. Now, uh, I will uh, introduce my uh, study uh, from the following six parts. Uh, as we know, uh, liver is the most common site of hematogenesis metastasis. The prognosis of gastric cancer with liver metastasis is relatively poor. Gastrectomy combined with liver resection and uh, uh, radio frequency ablation could prolong uh, the survival time for a appropriate patient. Um, but uh, there are no specific ex examinations in gastric cancer NCC guidelines, but in Japanese gastric cancer treat guidelines, uh, we can see uh, marked by red line. Uh, hepatectomy may be considered for patients with a small number of metastasis uh, nodules. Uh, this indicated that surgery could be considered for uh, appropriate uh, patients. Recent studies have demonstrated that minimally invasive gastrectomy and liver resection were both safe and uh, effective. Now, uh, previous study, uh, there are no previous study have compared minimal invasive surgery uh, with open surgery uh, for gastric cancer with liver metastasis. So in this study, we aim to compare surgical outcomes of minimally invasive surgery and open surgery for uh, GCRM patients in terms of safety, feasibility, and efficiency. By propensity score matching analysis, uh, sought for PSM analysis. The patient in this study must meet the following criteria. Uh, liver only metastasis, uh, received radical gastrectomy combined with hepatectomy, and or radio frequency ablation. Uh, this is excluding criteria. Uh, this is a processing of uh, enrollment. Uh, we can see uh, 53 patients enrolled in this study, but after PSM analysis, uh, 44 patients left and uh, divided into two groups, minimal invasive surgery group uh, and uh, open surgery group. This is open surgery and the minimally invasive surgery. Uh, this is a drug allocation for robotic gastrectomy. Uh, after gastrectomy, uh, another drug was added, and the drug allocation set uh, slightly different between left hepatectomy and right hepatectomy. In the end, we made five to seven centimeters incision for digestive tract reconstruction and specimen delivery. The result of our study showed that in minimally invasive surgery, five patients underwent hepatectomy, four patients underwent radio frequency ablation, and uh, two patients underwent hepatectomy plus radio frequency abl uh, ablation. And in open surgery group, 25 patients uh, underwent hepatectomy, uh, 15 patients underwent radio frequency ablation, and three patients underwent both methods. From the table, we can see uh, there is no difference. Uh, the baseline factor in the two groups were similar except for T states. The proportion of T4 states uh, in open surgery group was much higher than that in minimally invasive surgery group. But 
after PSM analysis, uh, there are no differences between the two groups, and uh, this made the two uh, group uh, comparable. This is short-term outcomes. From the table, we can see uh, uh, minimally invasive surgery group surgery uh, associated with less blood loss and fast bowel function recovery uh, without increasing complication rate. Uh, also, uh, minimally invasive surgery uh, could harvest more lymph node, uh, but the p-value is uh, over 0 0.05. This is complicating your two groups. A post-operative operate, uh, operative, uh, survival time, uh, we can see uh, minimally invasive surgery uh, was, much, uh, was longer than that in uh, open surgery. Uh, after adjust by PSM analysis, we can see uh, there are no differences, but still comparable. We concluded that minimally invasive surgery has similar post-operative complication rates with open surgery. Uh, minimally invasive surgery achieved superior short-term outcomes and the comparable long-term outcomes to open surgery in gastric cancer with liver metastasis patients. Uh, both laparoscopic and robotic minimal invasive surgery are reasonable approaches for the treatment of gastric cancer with liver metastasis when performed by experienced surgeons. But our study also have some limitations, uh, such as uh, the first hours result were based on the retrospective analysis as a single institution. Uh, the simple size is too small, may cause the statistical bias. A uh, large scale multi center prospective study need to overcome their limitations. For gastric cancer with liver metastasis, a uh, therapeutic plan to be decided by multi disciplinary uh, team, uh, including uh, gastroenterologist, hepatologist, uh, oncologist. Uh, Pathologist, uh, uh, all in all, uh, the multidisciplinary team uh, treatment model can benefit uh, the gastric cancer with liver metastasis. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions from the floor? So my question to you would be, um, given the results of this small trial that you've done, is your preference now in your institution to do these operations by minimally invasive surgery techniques? Number one, and number two, if so, do you prefer the robot or standard, standard laparoscopy? Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, even though the liver, the gastric cancer with liver metastasis uh, uh, treatment is very, uh, it is still controversial, especially minimally invasive surgery treatment. Uh, so uh, in our study, uh, uh, especially recent years, uh, we do many, many works, but uh, uh, the uh, uh, result has, uh, well, uh, I saw the result, but, but uh, there are some limitations. Uh, so uh, uh, today I uh, today I uh, give it a report and uh, uh, listen to the suggestions from uh, experts and the moderator can uh, can give some uh, help to do it well. <laughs>